Hey guys, it's Chris with A-Action. Uh, today I'm on a inspection down in League City. Uh, the property is about $1.5 million. The clients lived in here for a few months and started experiencing issues with it. And I just want to show you, just because your house is worth more money, uh, it doesn't mean that everything is always done correctly. So more money doesn't always mean less problems. So I'm going to take you through some of the things I found uh, just on the exterior because if I went on the interior would be there all day. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me walk you around the property and show you what I found. Alright, so if you ever have stucco, uh, one of the big issues with it is a lot of people forget to install kickout flashing. And what kickout flashing is this uh, little L site flashing piece that kicks the water out and uh, prevents water from building up behind the stucco. Uh, so what I'm going to do is do my best to kind of show you where it's missing and kind of areas where to look for it. So uh, the first area where it's missing is actually a unique spot is up there in the corner right there uh, it's missing and whenever you have missing uh, missing kick out flashing uh, in that area it can have, over a long period of time water can actually get behind the stucco and it can cause uh, you know the stucco to fall down or start to warp or fall out of place so that's uh that's fine number one so part of fine number one I'm gonna do my do better to explain what kick out flashing is is and I'm going to show you it's actually right behind me here and it's installed in this spot so I'm going to show you what it's supposed to look like you can see it's right here and also right here too so you can see how the stucco the kick out flashing the metal flashings in place and it's kicked out right there so so they did it well right there. So uh, that's still problem number one. Um, the no another issue right here, I got, a, I got my um, stone veneer here. It's mortared on. And what they, they must have misplaced or didn't do the mortar well enough because it's already starting to fall down again. He's only lived here about three months. So you can see uh, right here, uh, the brick piece is falling down, belongs right here. It's just falling out of place so that's uh problem number two all right so for uh, problem number three this is actually a, a find that i find pretty often uh stucco you're required to have an expansion joint every 144 square feet above and below windows and doors so above windows sorry above and below windows um and so right here you can see i have way over 144 square feet behind me i think it, the picture's a little blurry so i'll zoom into it and no expansion joint at all so this stucco will crack and it's actually cracking in the back where there's no expansion joints and I'll take you to that too so just uh, just better clarity on the photos you can see right here there's actually no expansion joints on this stucco veneer at all on this point and uh, let me just walk you over here uh, to show you what an expansion joint is actually supposed to look like so expansion joints are they did it in some spots of the house which is funny but this is what an expansion joint looks like a lot of people they don't install this uh, on the stucco in certain areas you definitely want to call it out uh, because they don't like it. it the cosmetic defect doesn't look right but I'm going to show you what it looks like in the back and you can already see it's starting to crack all right so again 122 144 square feet so normally it's a 12 by 12 this wall is going to be cutting it close uh, but no expansion joints stucco's only been there three months and it's already starting to crack so let me show it to you so you can kind of see if it shows up you can see the uh, cracking in the stucco right there a few months old all right and then across the back here if you can see behind me there's only one <laughs> There's only one expansion joint back here and the stucco's starting to crack. And uh, uh, if you get closer, <laughs> you can obviously see this window's an af afterthought. Whoopsie. And then uh, um, come over here.
All right, so let me uh, take you to one more issue. All right, and uh, just another example of how they did it correctly in the back and not the front uh, because of cosmetics. Uh, you know, they don't like the way it looks. So here you go. You can see how the stucco's done very well. You got the expansion joints around the windows. Got the big expansion joint there. Oh, look at that, I just caught that too. Even with the expansion joints, it started cracking. That's why I always walk around my properties twice. All right, so um, let me show you the last problem. All right, so for the last issue, it's actually a really minor one. It's not that big of a deal, but it is easily corrected. Uh, you can see that he has about eight condensers or seven condensers. I can count, I promise. <laughs> he has seven condensers outside and they, they built this huge platform, which is awesome, but they didn't properly uh, put proper drainage over here in this corner and uh, whenever that happens it's not going to cause any issues right now but over a long period of time that will actually cause that slab to move so you actually want to add in a better drainage system on on this slab right here so I'm gonna get the camera in there and I get a little closer for you So you can actually already see how uh, the soils are even starting to compact in that area. So that's it. Uh, some uh, really great finds with Chris. Uh, it just shows you that even though that you have a, a $1.5 million house, uh, it's actually still a good idea to get it inspected even if it's straight from the builder uh, whenever you purchase it. So that's another some great finds with Chris with A Action. If you have any home inspection questions, please give us a call and please like and subscribe to the videos. Thanks. Bye.